Good evening, dear friends. Good evening. Good evening. I'm very happy to see you here tonight. My name is Victoria Moro, and I am a ad and project manager. I want to remind to you: please subscribe to PA Seven for Music YouTube channel, where you will find all about new music, all different news and live streaming projects, and everything about music. Welcome. Hello. Thanks for hello, having me. Hello, hello. Nice to be it's here. A, it's a pleasure to see you here tonight. How are you actually? Doing great. Yeah, you know we're we're getting into fall in Canada, so it's cooling down. But uh, I have many jackets, so I'm I'm prepared. Oh, no, it's it's not, but it's change of season, and sometimes it comes something new. All Are you ready for fantastic new show? I am. You have yeah. tough, you know. It's, I think it's always exciting to be a tough one in something new. Okay, idea is I ask you questions, you give me answers. Sometimes maybe I can comment, but mostly I try to be fast as possible and don't say anything. <laughs> but after we try to communicate. And now we start. First question. Your name? It's Rich Tayo. Okay, where are you from? I was born in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, and I currently live in Kingston, Ontario. Mm. Mm. Band or solo project? Jukebox County. Um, it's a band. Of course. Yeah. yeah, it's a band. Um, I wrote all the songs, but I have an amazing bunch of musicians that live on Wolf Island that uh, support it and play on the album. And when we do live shows, they play uh, with me as well. Really great musicians. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Say something to your band. Hey, guys. I'm Sarah. <laughs> They're awesome folks. Great, great musicians and great people, too, most importantly humble and very very talented okay music style well that's a tough one it's um you know rock and roll got a bit of country a bit of funk um americana blues you know even a bit of like punk sort of mentality influence so it's sort of all over the place but it's jukebox county music that's all <laughs> that's all you can say <laughs> Exactly, yeah. <laughs> the last song you listened to? Uh, let's see. Um, I'll pull up my Spotify. So the band is called Carl Hector and the Malcoons, and the song is Kingdom of DMT. Ah, you were prepared for this question, actually. <laughs> Next one. The last movie you watched? What was the last movie I watched? Um... Probably in the Heights. It's sort of like a, the musical. Same guy that wrote um, Hamilton the musical. And my daughter's a big fan of it, so we went to the drive-in theater. Yeah, oh. and saw it. Yeah. <laughs> Your favorite TV series? Um, uh, right now I'm watching Nine Perfect Strangers, and it's sort of like a Prime Video thing, and it's kind of weird and. There's psychedelics and it's like a freaky healing retreat place that's it's getting pretty dark. <laughs> but it's intriguing, yeah. Mm, interesting. And your favorite dish? Hmm, homemade spaghetti with meatballs. It's the first meal I ever ate by accident. So my dad fed it <laughs> to me instead of instead of baby food, he fed me his spaghetti and I was like, mmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, always been okay. my first love. <laughs> Interesting. I don't know. Exists a reason to ask next question, but favorite Italian food? Hmm, pizza. 
Oh, pizza. <laughs> Some kind of special pizza, no? Uh, well, I mean, I was in Nepal uh, two years ago, and I don't know what they're doing there, but whatever they're doing there is great. So the pizza there, <laughs> something simple, you know, nothing too uh, too fishy, you know. <laughs> Nepalese okay. pizza, we'll say. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic, yeah. Uh, which artists have influenced you and how? Uh, so the band Ween is a big influence and that's because they just make like every type of genre of music like every album the songs will just be very different so i really like that sort of like eclectic sound that they have and they have a lot of different influences um i like sturgill simpson as well because he took country music but kind of like deepened it like he'll you know talk a little bit more philosophically about life or about like sort of you know psychedelics and and you know philosophy but it's it's pretty straight country music which is kind of cool um, and then you know things like the Beatles and the Stones just because they have heart you know and they really uh, they really honed in on their craft of songwriting so that really influences me and Bob Dylan too because of the lyrics so yeah lots of lots of influences <laughs> Fantastic. A lot of different music, different artists, different bands, fantastic. Mm. Okay, from where you start to compose your song, music or lyrics? Yeah, good question. It sort of depends. I go both. Sometimes I'll have like a melody and lyrics and they'll just pop in my head and then I'll have to figure it out. Um, other times I just have kind of like a little, a couple guitar riffs and I'll I'll start to hum something and then later on I'll listen to the hum and I'll almost sort of like hear lyrics in the humming, you know, and I'll kind of like, it's almost like I'm searching for what I'm trying to say, like through my unconscious. So yeah, but good question. because yeah, I, I kind of go both angles in a lot of ways. Um, so I don't know if that's what everyone does, but I, uh, yeah, I use both, both methods. Some kind of 50 pizza, yeah? Yeah, totally. <laughs> I come from I come from like poetry as my background, so lyrics are usually where I start. But um, you know, if you get if you get a good groove going, then like the lyrics are easy. You know, they just kind of come out. I find. Okay. And uh, next question: What do you think about talent shows? Talent shows? Uh, I mean, they can be hilarious. <laughs> um, I I think I like them. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's a good way to get. Uh, real the real like sort of uh inspired amateurs you know like to see sort of what people have and you know I'm, i'm a fan of um inspiration over like you know really tight talent you know i think it can be too clean sometimes so i like the rawness you know the rawness and the diversity of uh talent shows maybe you participate in some talent shows Uh, I think when I was in in uh, elementary school, I danced to MC Hammer and I took my shirt off and threw it into the audience. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it I, was very successful, I think, yeah? <laughs> oh, very much. I think my teacher caught it. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice, nice. And our last question. It's actually not a question. It's just like an idea. Tell to us about your music project and your future plans. Yeah, so, I mean, I just put out an album and it's uh, ju called Jukebox County, Inner Space, Outer Space. It's sort of about like, you know, introspection and, and also like communication and, and like being a human in this sort of like really, um, you know, big universe and kind of like where's our place in it. Um, and really influenced by a lot of the, the work I do in, in mental health and in like psychedelics and, you know, healing and spirituality and things like that. Um, and in the future, so I'm working on a couple music videos. I just released a video for my song Words. And then I'm going to actually do some singles, like some standalone side A, side B, like kind of like the old school, you know, like 45s. Um, so those I'm working on right now on Wolf Island and they're going to be you know, kind of like a side A that's sort of a normal single and then a side B that's like a little bit weirder and like maybe a little dancier with some synthesizers and stuff like that. So so I'm just sort of pushing the genres a little bit and, and making new new music with like a, a producer. And yeah, who knows what else? I mean, probably lots of more music. I have a lot of songs, so I'm just gonna try to get them recorded and get them out there. Thank you so much. 
thank you really a lot because for me it was very interesting because you know with this question we want to show to our public that musicians they are actually humans then we all have quite similar interests maybe sometimes similar taste for food or something like this <laughs> and it was really very interesting to listen to you your story and this. for me it was very interesting to understand about uh, different bands and uh, music which influenced you and to your genre and everything it was very very nice thank you so so much for this nice interview and i want to wish you a good and fantastic success with your music and actually we are really happy to be your publisher and work with your song because it's a really fantastic song and now the audience person can listen maybe you want to say something to last goodbye or <laughs> something else yeah no fans. thanks thanks so much for having me i'm glad to be the first and uh you know try this out for you guys and um yeah i appreciate the support and i appreciate people you know connecting with the music and I try to make music that people can really um you know connect to on some on some way so uh really appreciate people having a listen and checking it out. So thank you. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure for us to have you tonight. And I just want to say um good goodbye to our nice audience and to you but I hope to see all our audience very soon with our second episode with new interesting guests. And now we will hear new song from Jubox County. Name is Put Me Down. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful evening and bye-bye. Like a million bucks With my lady on my shoulder In my pickup truck Luck had stung me Like a sweet angel's kiss Thinking to myself It don't get better than this Why do you try To put me down When the world's Having you turn my life around I'm a sucker for a good time Spark a doobie with a mouthful of mountain wine Out on the corner, got make-believe stars Feeling the job, rhythm, boozy guitar Why do you try to put me down? When the world's helping you turn my life around Down. 